The Francis Scott Key Bridge and the Dally. My goodness, we're going to have to update you because things are getting pretty damn wild out there. I just don't understand why people need feel the need to have such a conspiracy all the time. Let's have a look at it dispassionately, perhaps. Um, I'm while no marine expert, there are plenty of marine experts out there, marine engineers, people with experience in large cargo vessels, telling you exactly what happened and why this occurred. And we'll go over some of them. We'll also have a look at some of the wild theories and some of the media companies out there that are fueling them. And I don't mean MSN, I mean companies that should know better. People that should know better. I'm looking at you, redacted. But anyway, let's have a look at it. Does this stinker, is it, you know, is it a genuine accident? Well, first of all, theory one, the Knights Templar cross on the hull. No, the international sign of the bow thruster. That's there to tell you there's a bow thruster underneath the waterline and to steer clear in small boats and particularly divers. So, yeah... Nonsense. The markings on the hull to tell you the draft, to tell you how much it's pulling, how much weight's on it. Yeah, nonsense. Take your gematria and go and shove it somewhere where the sun don't shine because these are all standard markings on container ships, on any freight bearing ship, in fact, on any ship. Next, it left port, it had an issue. They called in a Mayday. They called it in. So the police knew that there was going to be a problem. They were already on the bridge. You could see the police vehicles on the bridge. Why they didn't stop the traffic as a precaution, I don't know. Take it up with the police. If it had been me, I'd have stopped the traffic. And yes, I have some experience in that field. Secondly... As the bridge fell down when the ship hit it, the explosions along the top of the bridge going down in sequence. What could have caused them? Was it pre-wired? Well, let's just think about this for a second, chaps and chapesses out there. How many bridges do you know that have been blown up from the top down? Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Really? So, it's lights on the bridge, isn't it? And that's the sparking from the electrical cables as they're getting pulled out because the bridge is falling down. Oh my God. Wake up, people. Not everything is a conspiracy. I hate to say this, but, you know, sometimes accidents happen. And I think this might be one of them. And how did it happen then? Well, the power went out. The ship's known as a bit of a lemon. It's crashed into quite a few things, including reversing into a dock and, you know, even our own Royal Navy's not immune from it. Look at the disaster they had in Bahrain recently, where one minesweeper nearly went through another. Luckily, the beer was saved. But anyway, why did this accident occur? The power went out. The ship lost steering control for the time the power was out. They fired up the emergency generator, the power came back on, and it looks like maybe the main circuit breaker or something like that's gone again. So the power's gone again. So they've effectively, you need power to steer these things because the rudder on this ship is as big as a house. So it has to be powered by, uh, by hydraulics. It's not electric. The, you need the electricity to power the hydraulic pump. You need the electricity to power all the systems, all the sensors. You need to power all the helm. Everything's fly-by-wire, isn't it? So, a couple of things that have been brought up by marine engineers. Not by me, by marine engineers. People with experience in these things. One, the helm put in any inputs while the power was down, or just before the power was down, that could have been logged as a stored command and then executed when the power came back on. Okay. Secondly, you can see that the master of the vessel has called for full astern because the cloud of black smoke that came out. So the engines were ramping up and 
it was slowing down. It went from 8.7 knots to 7.6. So we know it was actually slowing down. They were trying to avoid hitting the bridge. And this is possibly where they made their fatal mistake. They ramped it into full restern and when that happens, the water that's normally being pushed backwards behind the boat, over the rudder, giving you steerage way, is now switched to being pushed forward with no rudder there. So the propeller, which if you think about it, is basically a paddle wheel that the rudder counteracts so you can continue going in a straight line. In full stern, it's going to walk the stern to the port which is going to have the opposite effect of walking the bow to the starboard, which makes it turn and head directly for the pillar. Maybe, just maybe, if they'd left it in full ahead and put in a big steering command, they may have missed the pillar. How did a ship knock down a huge bridge? It's a huge ship. Okay, it's only doing seven knots, you know, eight and a half mile an hour, but the momentum and the inertia in that is an incredible amount of energy to put into a bridge pillar. And think about it, a bridge pillar is designed to take a load from above. It's a very literal lateral load, especially a big steel bridge like that with fairly thin sections, so you will get some load from the wind, but most of the load comes from the roadbed, from the vehicles on it, from ice, snow, rain, whatever. You're not getting a lot of lateral load. This is a massive lateral load. It overstresses the bridge and the whole thing comes down. Yeah, it's an accident. What about the missing data on the the vehicle in the Voyage data recorder? Well, we don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Apparently there's two minutes of data that's not recorded. If the power's out, if the circuits are broken, are the sensors not sending data to the, the Voyage data recorder? So maybe it's still recording, but not got nothing to record. So it looks like it's recording blank, which it is. Or was it affected by the glitch as well? Should have its own backup battery system, but as I said before, ship's a lemon. Perfect storm of coincidences? Perhaps. But think about it, people. You want to stage an attack on a country as a foreign power, and there are much easier ways of doing things, much quicker ways of doing things, than trying to make a container ship hit a bridge. <laughs> It's just not on. This is not how the real world works. So, you know, just chill out. An accident happened. American infrastructure at fault again, perhaps. Ship infrastructure, definitely at fault. You know, it's just one of these things.